Right, two days later than what we said we would be doing, I am now officially going to be activating my membership for this account. Now, before we start the video, I've got a few things to ask for you guys. Obviously, any suggestions you've got for money making methods or anything else, make sure to leave in the description. Also, we need to rename this account. So it is seven day bond. We have finished a seven day bond with the premium membership package. Now, I think we can do something a bit better than 14 day bond. And I quite like, you know, the inventive RS name. So if you've got any names for this account throughout this uh, 14 day bond, make sure to drop them in the comments. And the best one, I will throw either a free bond or 50 mil or some form of reward towards the end of the series. So right, let's get started. So we are going to redeem our bond. We are going to redeem it for some membership. 14 days membership, confirm. Beautiful, we are now members. So let's go and hop over to Big92 and let's get cracking. Right, so let's slightly change the bond process, um, but it wasn't too bad to be fair, so let's log in. Right, so we are back in members world and we've got plenty to be doing. So this episode is the first episode we've done in a while. It's going to be a little bit of sort of admin stuff we need to do, stuff we need to check over. And because we've got the cash stack stuff we need to unlock. So if you weren't here for the last episode, this is basically what we ended the bank on. We pretty much sold everything out and we got 250 protein logs. It's like our last spin reward. We have unlocked our premier membership package and gotten five um, prime gaming bombs, which we can use at any time, which I'll think about. Um, and we also unlocked as well a new cosmetic, which I'll see if we can get it. I can't remember what it was called. It was something umbral. Ah, there we go. And uh, not for me. So we'll, we'll stick we'll stick with the OG. Right, so what we're going to do is we do always. Uh, so rune span, farming, fletching. So that's not too bad. What I'll do, we're going to take off the runecrafting one first. So runecrafting is one of one of the things I wanted to like get going with. Um, the Vizwax is obviously a great daily to do every day. And uh, you guys are very quick to point out that it's uh, something which will bring a lot of money in every day as well. Um, and runecrafting is definitely a skill which you want to be training up as well. Now, because I've done this slightly later than what I should have, we will actually be exposed to the first day or two of a necromancy and hopefully then i can fit in like a little bit of uh we could possibly make a little bit of money from necromancy we'll see and um, we'll just see what happens on release so yeah so what we're going to be doing today we're going to tackle the rune shops um get our runes bought that is obviously one thing i really fumbled the bag on in the last series so i want to make sure that we're doing our rune shop on a daily basis i want to get to 50 rune crafting as quick as possible because then we can unlock viswax this wax will be like a couple mil profit per day as well, which would be very nice running to the account. I want to stock up on some skilling supplies, so I'll probably buy, um, I think, Battle Staffs is going to be our move next. And in terms of skills for like this block of the bond, I want to kind of get that 60 mil chalked off quite quick. And then we can sort of do whatever we want with the account for 14 days. I want to make sure that the membership's covered, and then we can go and do some other stuff after that. But I'm going to probably get 80 crafting to make enough money to like, do half a chunk of a bond and it really won't take that long it'll be a couple k battle stats which are gonna like afk and in terms of this half or this bond fletching i want to get fletching up to onyx bolts because we've seen on the new account onyx bolts very good gp i'd like to get rune crafting to a decent level to be able to have the exposure for necromancy and release i would like to train construction to like level 70 which i think we'll do on the bonus xp weekend and then that will be able to unlock um making frames making planks so we've got a really high earning like money maker if we want to chase that as well. And then once we sort of got some free time, I really want us to hunt down quests um, and combat XP. The big quest line I'm going to tackle in this bond is hopefully Lunars. Even if I get the requirements, that's all I want to aim for is to push for Lunars. Because the Lunar spellbook makes some serious GP. And that's where everything I'm going to edge towards is our next like big money maker. I want to use magic and especially Lunar magic because things like glass make. Tan Leather, the Crushing Spell, uh, when you're able to um, fire your urns and your clay as well, are all very big things um, and definitely underutilized as well. So Lunar Magics will make bank. So I'm looking forward to being able to do that as well. Oh, our first appearance from the Necromancer. And we just got 15 rune crafting, which is pretty nice. And obviously, even though we're not too equipped for it, these combo runes as well make serious profit. However, we're nowhere near it until we access Lunas because of the um, magic imbue. Another side goal as well, I'd like to get 70 agility. 70 agility, I can then use Silverhawks. With Silverhawks, we can then train agility passively without actually paying any attention to it. 
Silverhawk's cheap, and I think they're definitely worthwhile like investing your money in because you can get pretty much a free 99, not free, but free times what time wise. There's a lot of quality of life stuff to do on this account, especially as well. I'd like to unlock all the um, teleports. I think we're going to treat ourselves to a little bit of this wax as well. Beating up the teleports will be a little bit nice as well. So like a bit of quality of life stuff is what I want to bring to the account, especially in this episode, quality of life stuff, buy some skilling supplies, set our base for going forward and then we can crack out the XP quests and all that sort of, sort of stuff afterwards. Now, I know I mentioned it in the episode where we sort of said this account can go again. I'm very much thinking that with the feedback we got from that episode, the attempt to go for the 20 bond membership package is definitely something we're going to be looking to do. So there might be a couple of things now I'm sort of thinking that far ahead and looking to see like what stuff I can do now to make that journey a little bit easier and a little bit smoother as well. So we have bought those runes. They were 10k and they are going to make us 25k. I don't remember what my challenge was. Oh yeah, arrows. Right, actually to be fair, we're going we're going uh, fletch the arrows now and then that way it's ticked off. But no, just wanted to say really looking forward to the series, really looking forward to what we're going to be doing next. Lower tier content, especially on RS3 because they've changed it all and moved it all around. It's probably one of my favorite sort of forms of content. Just because nowadays it's like so much more ramped up and so much more included. And it's so much more like well thought out. Especially with the combat system stuff. It used to be like a bit of a rush. And you try to get out of the early game as soon as possible. Whereas now it would be nice to like just enjoy it. And just like have a look around and see what it brings. There is 13 fletching. We've just finished our daily challenge. So we are going to get 15 fletching. Now you might remember that one of the big fails from the first series. Was the shield bows. Shield bows was something I did on a noob account. Probably last year, and he worked really well. Like, it's how the noob account built up to his first 20 mil. We're just doing shield bows. But for the first like week we tried on this account, it really didn't work. So I'm a little bit hopeful that uh, we can get some luck, but you never know. Wow, this must be one of the most active like G's apart from 84. Right, one thing I am going to do though, I might try my look at this essence of finality we did. Oh, that's not good. Right, we're committed. Right, so all in for this essence of fin finality kit. 48.5 mil and um, because they bought alarmingly quick no i can't sell that price let's tire 52 mil and 555k so we'll leave that in sell if that does sell that'll be something like a 3-4 mil flip which you know we can't knock that that is basically like a percentage of a bond i'm not going to do things with the grand exchange too much on this account because i think i could basically sit here and make the 20 bonds just by sight of a ge that could be something different we do but i don't really want to abuse the grand exchange I won't really do much more than this, um, and even then, I'm not going to go overboard on it, and luckily we are locked by a limit. I'll let you guys know if we do anything, but I'm not going to go too mad on that particular flip. Right, but let's get buying some stuff. So, we're going to buy Battle Stats, just because they are so cheap and so profitable, although these might be slightly up because of bonus XP weekend. Nope. <laughs> Mid-price. Okay, um, let's have a look at the attack potion, but there's also... There's other things we could do as well. We include prayer potions and other stuff as well. Right, super attack. Now, after we finished our series, these took a massive hit. Right, so we're still over mid, which is good. Even like lowest buy prices over mid. Right, so that's not too bad. Eh, they're okay, but nowhere near as good as what they were. They'll probably make three mil per one k, which don't get me wrong, for like Herblor is is amazing. Um, however, it weren't as good as what we're getting. So, I'm just going to have a look around, see if there's anything better. Prayer potions are normally quite good as well. 9-8, there's also a penguin there. Right, AK for that. AK is quite high. Although, that's not too bad. It's a low price. So, prayer potion is basically 3.8 AK, which, yeah, you know, we can't we can't moan at, I suppose. We'll try and look at brews, see if brews are any better. Because they're quite... 6K for a brew, like, pre-bonus XP weekend. Like, the week of is actually really low. What are toad flexes? Well, I think that means brews actually lose money. Wow. Never thought I'd see that. Well, in this economy, anyway. So, if we look at the Herblor tab, we've gone through prayer potions, attack potions. Brews lose money. All the new, like, soup potions, I don't really think is worth it. Magic potions. Magic potions might be a shout. But potato cactus are high. That's actually a decent flip. Uh, Atlanta dime. This might be one, actually, if this buys low enough. Right, so 12k. Well, 11.5k for the potion. So it'll all depend on the cactus. What price? Oh, that's so expensive. Wow. A potato cactus is just under 10k. What world are we living in? 
Wow. So if we buy the Cactus and Volantine Potion at the bottom end, we will still make something like 3 to 4 mil with the Super Magic. The only thing which worries me is that the Super Magic isn't as stable as the Prayer Potion or the Attack Potion, and I'm still going to be making roughly the same margins. So yeah, I think I'd rather stick with the same margins. I think I'd be silly not to. Right, okay, no problem. So that's what we'll do then. We'll buy some Irrit Potions. What I'm going to do as well is look at the um, incense sticks. It must have been made. Oh, I'm going to do my spins. Even though the promo in a minute is absolutely rubbish. So we are going to go for 7 multiplier. Why not? Right, so let's do some other things. Right, this wax. I don't want to buy a lot of this. To be fair, that is a money maker as well. We'll do at some point. Teleport. Teleport tabs. I think just for the amount of like unlocks it's going to give me. So I'm going to go and unlock the map in terms of lodestone. I'm going to use the Vizwax to make my lodestone teleports quicker. Yes, it's going to be 500k, um, but it's going to be just easier. Um, and that's what we, we live for over here. And hopefully we'll buy afterwards and then it'll give us a little GP to do stuff. Obviously we can do crafting from the bat or I can start like just playing around and do some other stuff. And some other skills. Um, I think that'll be worthwhile. Obviously the crafting world will unlock different things, but... I think for now, I just want to get about 60 mil deposit, which we've spent in a bond, paid off. I want to do crafting, purple, get them done, get them ticked off, get them moved off. And then we've got however many days left just to work on our account and progress and build it like that. Obviously, the stuff we do to build and progress will make us money as well. So we're not going to be like just level and not doing anything. There just won't be the demand or the need to do it. And if we ever get bored or we want to go and do something else, we can always go and hunt some form of money as well and try and like build up our afk skills afk skills are quite important to have as well because when you don't want to pay attention and let's face it we all want we all hit them phases where we don't really want to like watch the screen we want to watch something like youtube or stuff like that i need to build out my afk skills so i'm thinking archaeology because we can camp like resource caches wood cutting doesn't really make money um and fishing's a bit meh the old like old school afk methods aren't really there anymore so i need to start building them out as well we'll have magic but i just want to like make it as diverse as possible so what i'm going to do while that stuff is buying i'm just going to go and fling around and unlock all of the lodestones all right so there is edgeville unlocked we're going to run down to Draenor and port sarium just because it just saves us doing it and we're in no real rush Obviously, any ideas you've got for money-making methods, anything you want to add, anything you want me to do differently, make sure to leave in the comment section. From the first series, I've picked up a couple of things. I need to, like, stop rambling as much, which I don't know if I've done better this episode or not. Let me know. Um, and also, like, make sure I'm coming in with a game plan. So, the last series was pretty much just done as and when I logged in. I made the plan up there. Admittedly, this episode was a bit of the same, but it was a lot more of a, like, settle in work out what we're doing and move from there sort of plan. But the rest of the episodes will be a lot more structured. We'll have a plan. We'll know what we're doing. I just needed to check things like um, buy limits and stuff like that before we went full hog into this series. Right, so this will be Port Sarium. That'll be quite, especially some of the like, non-members quest, that'll be quite an important lodestone to have unlocked. Now, someone mentioned here you can get a Mind Strike Staff. I don't really need it, but a really good like starter weapon is the Mind Strike Staff, which you can get from someone in Port Sarum. Betty, Betty, we can buy your runes. Ah, so she's another Zaf Shop. Obviously, Zaf Shop was a very important thing which did in the last uh, series. I don't think I'm going to be doing it in this episode or this series either. I just don't think it makes as much money as this account needs now. This account sort of progressed past that stage. So I don't really need to be making the money from Zas. But it, is, it was useful and it was definitely beneficial. And I would absolutely do it again on a fresh account. However, with 120 more cash stack, making 60k from a shop run, it don't really, don't really impact us. The runes, I think, will make an impact because they'll be linked to what we do with Vizwax and... It's quick money, whereas with Zaf, we are spending a little bit longer, like, running back and forth to the shops. So this is Draenor. I wonder if the parcels of the dead still go. And let's see if we can get one of those. Right, so that looks a little better on the map. Now, this will be fun because we have to walk around. The obsidian stuff now looks so cool. So cool. I just like how they have this massive volcano here and a little gate. The little gate is what separates these two communities. So, Carriage Mara or Mira or whatever it is. You know what I mean. That's that lodestone all done. Now, we've done uh, Cafe B, so I'm going to go over and work from Sears. 
From Sears, we're going to go down to Ardy, and then from Ardy, we're going to go and do Yanil. And that is pretty much most of the spots I can do without questing. And then we can activate the Vizwax. I wonder how much it's to reset. It would, no, actually, to be fair, we'll get the dart anyway. I was going to say it would be quite cool to do another dart on this car and see what Calfire King will give to us. Since he absolutely mugged us off in the last, last go. Right, Sears is done. Now we need to go and run to Playground Farms. To be fair, I might go back to the Grand Exchange and buy a Dueling Ring. I think a Dueling Ring is a smarter play because then I can go and get Uglog off the Mobilizing Army Teleport. But then also I can go Castle Wars and run over to Yanil. Oh, so that's what I was going to use this for. So we're going to do this for a quick telly for the Lodestone. 200 quick charges. Go. And rather than draw the circle every time, we are just going to... We should just be going quick. Why did I not go quick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to take a box. So, yeah, we just need to do Tav, Yanil, and Uglog. And then we're pretty much all ticked off then. And we've got a lot more accessibility to go around the map. Now, I know we've not really done much, but the first episode really is always to set the boundaries out, set what we've got planned. Obviously, just a bit of a recap of what we've got planned. We've bought supplies for crafting and herbal ore to basically try and make... A chunk of our 60 mil investment into a bond sort of out of the way nice and early and then we're going to go and like progress and try some other stuff as well so things i'm going to be training is rune crafting so we can go and get viswax construction so we can unlock frames that's probably gonna be like level 70 and i'll probably get that bought next episode and then i want to be looking at the quest requirements for luna and dream mentor to be training the combats for the luna spellbook now one of the big things we're going to be doing on bonus xp weekend is combat training Combat training is like going to be key because I wanted to train get like a nice 70 base just so we can do stuff. Um, and I've noticed some noob cats as well. Low tier combat really does hinder you because like you can't even travel anywhere. I was trying to do tetra compasses on a noob account. I can't even do them because things attack me. Um, so it's just a bit annoying really. And also start lining up things we want to be AFK for money. So archaeology is definitely going to be one of them. And as well, the low spots archaeology do make a decent amount of profit. And it sort of extend like our usefulness of the account. So... If we could do things like divination to get porters, that would be really good. That's what we might actually use our bonus XP weekend to do, is get a decent divination level. We've got so much things and so many other different avenues to go. It's it's something like I want to like just get our bond checked off, get the money back in the account, so we know that for the next time, if we want to do another bond, we're already sorted, we don't need to worry about it, and then um, we can just go and make even more money from there. So I'm going to go to the Wall Forge because this is what we're looking forward to go to Uglog. So this is where the old mobilizing armies was. So all we need to do is run east and let's see if we die because they all will try. So the lodestone is just there. Right, that actually wasn't too painful. I can't believe I didn't do this when we're doing all the, all the stuff in Tavoli in the first season. But you know, you live and you learn. Go, Tavoli is done. So last one is let's go to Castle Walls. So we want to go to the bottom route so we can get out of the way of the ogres. And there is the teleport there. No real dramas. And as well, we've also got a god statue here, which I'm actually going to go and do now because it nearly is the end of the month. So I want to make sure that we have a try at monthlies as well, just so they're all ticked off. Amazing. Right, so because we've just gone and done that, we've unlocked pretty much most of the ones we can access as well. So the only one which I can access, which I'm not already done, is fourth room free not got it yet but we'll be getting that soon kind of fist quest lot i think but i don't know if a newbie can got it but we can get that soon and that's quite important really to get us over to that part of the map and a cronius request uh fremenic province we could get it but we don't really need to go there yet eagle's peak we could be side away and then everything on the sort of left hand side's quest so no real rush there so let's go and do this uh god statue right he's beefing on jemmy so jemmy's gonna have to go so we want rare xp it is actually not too bad of a monthly actually the uh, god statues I just wish my um, level was a bit higher before we do it. So when we do it next month, I'll make sure it's a little bit higher and then we'll just get some more XP. It's mad nowadays the construction is an actual like money-making method, but you know, we live in these times. So I have now level, go away, five prayer. And we have level 28 construction as well. So I think it's worth having a quick look at construction for Fort for Infury. So at the minute we can make willow planks, which isn't too bad actually. I want to be making planks of something like the newer planks. Because I think, like, probably Maple. Maple could be a good chat. Akali could be good as well. I'd be level 50. Um, 70. Yeah, it just opens up a bit anyway. Who in six intense sticks? I'm going to have a bit of a look into. 
because they seem to be a bit high or not actually traded at all, which is a bit worrying. Um, obviously, we used incense sticks to our advantage last time. We didn't do too much of them because I do think like the incense sticks, we want the Garden of Kahid, like bonus and stuff. If we can make incense sticks quicker, that's like serious money. And don't get me wrong, I'm looking at it thinking that could be worth doing if I can get the account set up for like efficient farm runs. Because we've not got the beans to like power through it, we're going to have to do it the legit way. And we're not ready to do it the legit way. Maybe in a day or two I can get set up for it, but just not now anyway. But yeah, I think I'm going to sign off from there. Obviously, we've not done loads. And I do apologize for not doing absolutely loads. I have sort of run out a little bit of time today, but I wanted to get this series started. I wanted to get the account progress and the account like ready to do stuff. We've done a nice little quality of life update and we've unlocked some of the lodestones, which will help us get around the game and definitely worth doing. We bought some Vizwax and quick charges as well to make like life a bit easier. We've done our daily challenges. We've done our spins. We put our offers in for the grand exchange. We're trying to flip that essence of finality kit, which I hope goes overnight. If it don't, I'm a bit worried because we don't want to be losing money. And we've made our play on our first like set of money making methods as well. I'm hoping the battle stats we're looking to make about 10 to 15 mil and hopefully we'll make the same as well. I'm hoping between these two sets we'll make enough money to sort of pay for half a bond. And if we can pay for half a bond, then um, it's not too hard. It's not too bad and we can definitely look at using these 14 days to progress the account. Because I know this is a money making series, but for us to make money, it's better and quicker for us to make money if we've got better levels as well. So these two methods will give us the base we need. And then the rest of these 14 days, we'll try loads of different money making methods as well. Cram in the episodes and make sure that they are action packed with loads of different ways of making money and reporting on what we're finding is really good. What we're finding is not worth our time and what we're finding is like good enough to like keep going, keep getting this by. But if you do have suggestions, let me know. I need two suggestions on this video. A, what would you do in my situation for a money making method? And B, what would you name this account as well? The best name for the account, I'll give a free bond or 50 mil, whatever you prefer. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, please subscribe. Please like the video. We'll make this into a season two playlist. So make sure that you can see the link in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video.